Hello guys, welcome to my channel. For you that's new here, welcome. For you that keeps coming, welcome back. Uh, I hope you cannot hear any background noise today. My neighbor is doing some work in his house and I hear a lot of knocking. But I wanted to talk today about that painting that I'm showing you on the time lapse. And the subject for it is don't give up. Even if it looks like crap, you can still manage to work it out if you don't panic, if you have patience, if you stop in a while to breath, look at in the big picture, and maybe see some other videos out there in the internet to help you to get a new ideas, inspiration, or even look for the resolution of your issue. And that painting had so many, so many issues. It felt like a, a, a race of uh, mistakes. It's incredible. Well, the first thing that happened was that I left the tracing of the, the graffiti too strong. And for other cases, it was not that bad. But since I was working with yellow, and the tones of yellow and even the tones of brown that I used are semi-transparent. There was nothing that I could do to cover that mark. The mark was screaming. And another point of the difficulty was, okay, it's so cute. She has curls, really tight curls, and I never did it before. So when I finally got to the point of doing the hair, I was like, okay, what do I do? So I had to stop for a while, I had to research, I had to make a sketch, testing. I actually got another piece of paper and I did it with acrylics to go faster to make sure that I was going to get the results that I wanted. And that once I put the oils, it was not going to screw up my drawing. Uh, another point that I passed through was the color. Oh my god, it's so color it turned out so bad. I look at it and I remember of the little girl from Exorcist. It looks like she's possessed, she's about to throw up. It looks disgusting and it's scary at the same time. That bright yellow did not go well. So I had to figure it out other mixing of colors to try to fix that. So around the, the process, first what I had to do was I learned how to do the curls. I painted the curls in acrylic. Yes, you hear many times, don't do mixed media. Do mixed media, it's going to help you a lot. Just practice somewhere else before you do on your final piece so you don't cry if it doesn't work it out. I did on acrylics, I waited to dry, oh it looks like it dries very fast. If you're going to apply something that has solvents like liquid, for example on top and do glazing, wait at least one day to dry. So after you dry it, I went with my transparent layer, the glazing, it looked okay, I went with the highlight, even better, and then I had to solve the issue with the transparency. And what I had to do was, I had to go with white on top. And I was a little bit out of patience already, so I did something that I wasn't supposed to. Instead of building the layers and follow the fat only, I just went really fat on that layer that was supposed to be a base again. And I put a lot of white because I didn't want to do two layers and I wanted to cover that for once. And I waited for, I think, four days to dry and it wasn't even close to dry and I was already out of patience. At, I don't know what word to use, but I was almost throwing that thing on the trash. So I decided I'm going to paint on top of that. I'm not going to make pressure so I don't move that ink that is not so dry around and make a lot of marks. And I was able to paint the final layer 
that got a nice color, a color more pastel and less possessed. But you can still see a little bit of the marks of where I had a high concentration of ink that didn't dry well. It doesn't look bad, but it doesn't look well executed. Anyway, after so many issues, I got to the final piece that I do like. It's not my favorite, but I do like a lot and I did learn a lot. And it was very stressful to do, but I'm glad I didn't give up and I didn't toss on the trash and that I made my planning before I used mixed media in another paper because otherwise I think it was going to be another mistake that I was going to make. And, well, I'm having some really rough weeks because as I said before, I opened my Redbubble account. Yay, my store. No, it's not Red Tube and actually I, I need to watch out myself otherwise I'm going to say that and it's going to look really awkward. But I open it. I am scanning the pieces. Problem is, it takes a long time to dry enough so I can make the pressure that I have to make on the scanner. Treating the pieces, are, it's not so easy. I think that you, if you're if you're painting with paper instead of uh, canvas, it's easier because I bump a lot into what to erase of the texture of the canvas and what not to erase because i understand that if you're going to make a print and that print is going to be on a paper that has texture it's, it is to show the texture of the paper we don't have to fake the texture and in this case fake the texture would be to leave the texture of the original paper and that doubt raises for me only in, in situations where i have a lot of white I don't know, I think I'm talking way too random, right? Thing is, it takes a long time to scan because I have to scan several pieces because the scanner is smaller than this. I have to treat the picture and, and then I have to upload and make changes on every product to fit kind of well. And oh my god, that takes so long, so long, so long. I cannot make more than two designs a day, but hopefully soon I'll have the store full. And I am considering to open other ones because it's, each one has a different uh, public. And unfortunately, it's not like I have a lot of followers on Instagram to be able to drive people to the store. So I'll have to rely on the marketing of the store, of the platform. With that in mind, it's it's probably best to create more than one and take advantage of different uh, public that each one can reach and maybe I can evaluate which uh, store is best for the kind of art that I do. I don't think I have more to share for the week.
If you do have something that you would like to ask or you would like to know about, feel free to comment below. I would love to answer questions. And if you do like the video, please subscribe, like or comment. Have a good week. Bye-bye.